All right, now I want to talk about the rocket handle versus the Pro Tilt. This is the rocket handle. We all know what it is. It was uh, invented back in the 70s. It revolutionized concrete. I personally used this when I was a concrete finisher, but I wanted something better. So we came up with the Pro Tilt. The Pro Tilt is gear driven, has a tension knob on the side, so you can adjust the tension. When you let it go, it slides down. I swear to you, it's the smoothest pole attachment you've ever used. And one thing that we improved on versus our last year's model, we increased the angle. So I wanted to show you guys, head to head, our angle versus the rocket. This is all the way up. The Pro Tilt has more of a degree. So this is gonna help you on tight spots. So this is our Pro Tilt. This is the non-vibrating head. So this will go up against your rocket and knucklehead. Has the same exact gears as the MagVibe Pro. It's literally the smoothest pull attachment handle on the market. Look how smooth this is. It's gear driven. The gears are heat treated. No, no need to grease it. There's no zerks. And then we have something called a tension knob. So you can see, you can hold the tension there. It's gonna keep your angle. At angle, any angle you want, it's gonna help hold that angle so it's gonna be easier on your forearms at the end of the day. You loosen this up, it'll drop. It's very, very smooth. Again, it comes with the QAS system, so we can attach it onto our float very easily. And now you're saving money because at the end of the day, a normal pull attachment head, you would have to bolt on. So if you have five different floats, that means you have five different heads. Right now you can buy one head and whatever float you want to use that day, you just slide it on. All right, now I want to talk about the MagVibe Pro on a standard float. So again, we talked about the QAS system earlier. We went ahead and bolted this on to a standard, this is a craft float. Our unit slides on very easily, no tools required. You're good to go. This is a high frequency vibration. It's not, it's not a vibration that's gonna make your float sink. If you're about four or five poles out there and you stop for a second, you don't want it to sink and create a valley. So again, I, I told all this to the engineer. He came up with a high frequency. It's kind of like a Sonicare toothbrush. It spins at a very high RPM and it goes from 4,500 RPM up to 7,200 automatically. There's something inside. It's called an accelerometer. I had no idea what it was, but again, the engineer, he's the smart one. It monitors the stiffness of the concrete and it will automatically change the vibration from 4,500 up to 7,200 RPM. Your float is not gonna sink. It's not gonna push the concrete. I have a lot of misconception from contractors who think, oh, I'm doing an ADA ramp. It has to be perfect. I don't wanna push the concrete. It's not gonna do that. It's a high frequency. All we're trying to do, again, in technical terms, we're trying to excite the water molecules so the aggregate will settle and it'll bring up the cream. We're only doing this on the top layer. This is not going to consolidate the concrete deep in the concrete. This is only the top layer. We want to bring moisture and cream to the surface. Okay, let's talk about the Pro Float Light and its design. Revolutionary. There's nothing out there on the market like it. We have a sloped front edge and we have a back cutting edge. The slope front end, this allows you to run it flat. You don't have to pitch it when you're going forward, you're not gonna uh, catch an edge. The back is our cutting edge. If you have a high spot, it rip curls the concrete backwards rather than going up on top of your float. That's what the old design does. They're very thin, and when you're cutting that high spot, that excess goes over on the top. Not anymore. This literally rip curls it back, goes back onto your slab where it's supposed to be, and not on your float. Our unique design in the Pro Float allows the contractor to decide whether they want to leave the concrete open like a wood float or seal it like a magnesium float. Using our QAS system, the quick attach system, you can slide the pull attachment handle off, turn the float around, change directions, and give it a different result. So there are a couple things I want to show you in this video. The contractor wanted to seal the concrete rather than leave it open. So watch as he pushes it out. It's opening the concrete up like a wood float, and as he drags it back, it'll seal the concrete. And this is all because of the direction of the float.
I'd like to point out that the MagVibe Pro is on a 10-foot ProFloat light. As you can see, the vibration is being transferred through the entire float. Contractors are actually telling us that they're producing flatter floors because of the design. They're able to pull the float back perfectly flat without creating any waves. This video shows how easy the MagVibe Pro can put color hardener into the concrete. It also shows the unique design of the float. He's pulling it back perfectly flat without digging an edge. And you can see it's pushing the high spots, evenly dispersing it as it pulls it back. This video shows the MagVibe Pro being used on a Clancy Groover. Because of the QAS system, the quick attach system, he was able to slide it off the Pro Float and now he's installed it on the Groover. The vibration helps push the aggregate aside and bring cream to the joint. So we also designed a QAS bracket for the Fresno. This is a Kraft Fresno. We went ahead and designed this bracket that bolts on using our bolts. And now, this is our Pro Tilt. So when you're done using the Pro Tilt on a float, you ready to Fresno? You go ahead and slide it on. No tools required, just like the Magvi Pro, slides on very easily, you're good to go. This just saves you guys time and money. You don't have to buy pole attachments for every single one of your floats, for every single Fresno, for every single Groover. Now you can buy one Pro Tilt, and whatever tool you want to use, you go ahead and slide it off, you're ready to rock. Superior Shield is a product that we can apply to our floats that doesn't allow anything to stick to it. This is an upgrade that can be added to any float. There's literally no scrubbing involved. All you have to do is take a garden hose to hose it off and you're good to go.